And in the context of ongoing conflicts, 1957 rides high in uh, America's attitude to the Cold War, because on the 4th of October, the Soviet Union successfully launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik. It was a huge public coup for the Soviet Union, and it fed America's paranoia. The little radio transmitting globe with four long aerials um, passed over the continental United States every 90 minutes. And most of the American public followed the logic that if the Soviet Union could put something up above them, they could ultimately bring it down and start attacking them with nuclear weapons. Sputnik was a compromise. And it was a compromise because actually the designers hadn't got the heat shield that's needed to bring a, a nuclear weapon safely back into uh, Earth atmosphere perfected yet. If they put a nuclear weapon up, it would have burnt up. So the compromise was that the R7 rocket could put a payload into orbit. And Stalin's legacy of stealing propaganda coups was something that Khrushchev just couldn't resist. So this was, um, the R7 was an ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile. And knowing that it was not fully operational, and knowing that this was merely a radio transmitter in space, Eisenhower was unconcerned. He did not see it as important. And America, soon thereafter, after a couple of abortive attempts, did manage to put their own satellite up. Eisenhower completely misunderstood and miscalculated the public's uh, feelings. It was a costly public relations error, and it escalated fears of the Cold War in the United States. And they wanted to know why their president wasn't doing something about it. It made Eisenhower a slight prisoner of American public opinion, he had to be seen to be acting strongly in the face of communist threats, even if the ability of the Soviet Union to attack America with nuclear weapons was at that time quite limited.